I started this light bar with a simple post-it note sketch. The top light bar went from this concept to this finished product. The mounting system went from this simple thought to this cradle idea and evolved into this final product. Or is it the final product? Well, there it is. The light bar. Now, it's not finished. I know what you're thinking. Why isn't it finished? Well, because it's not actually attached to anything yet. I uh, just wanted to go over, so obviously did the forward on the, and so I was planning initially to go up to this point and put it, but as I swung that down, it might have contacted the tabs, and this looks, honestly, I think that looks way better, to be honest with you. So I'm glad I did it that way. It'll be, uh, it'll go up and down. I'm going to get an actuator to mount on that. Do the uh, bar right there in the center. Oh, it's going to go straight to there. That will aim it for me while I'm in the cab. Um, probably just going to put a uh, just a steel tube in there for now. But that's what I'm looking at. So looking pretty good. Pretty happy with the way it came out. Anyway, so what's next? I need to make mounts for this. So I'll, that's what today I'm going to start doing. I'm going to take some wood, take an inch or half an inch or so, put it up underneath here and there on both sides. That'll raise it up an exact amount, make sure everything is kosher. Um, I'm probably going to trim this down too, but it's not going to come all the way down like that. Probably going to cut it off right about here or here and then, you know, 45 it. I definitely do want to put a, a nice little 180 Got some one inch uh, that I use for the front bump, front bumper push bar. And so that'll make a nice tight bend. I'll just cope it in there. This is inch and a quarter. It'll be one inch. So it'll sit in the set. I think that'll look nice. Anyway, I might do the same thing right there. Put a 180 there to, to mount the, uh, just to kind of, I don't know, tie that all in. Let's get started on that now. So I pulled out my Evolution chop saw and cut some one inch spacers out of some two by four to space the cradle off the roof. After pulling the light bar off the cradle, I removed the ratchet strap and slid in the spacers. And of course, painter's tape held everything in position. All right, I spaced it up one inch. It doesn't look bad. It does not look bad. But I have to wonder, is it too much? Is it too much? One inch. Let's try half inch, see what that looks like. But yeah, one inch. I'm gonna go half. I'm gonna go half inch. Yeah, definitely half inch. Basically a finger width. Um, yeah, that should do. Let's do it. You gotta love the cold cut saw because they cut both metal and wood, no problem. So with the half inch spacers cut, it was time to put them on the bug, see what it looked like. There's a half inch. That looks a little better. It's a little closer, yes, but I'll be honest with you, I like that better. It's a little more streamlined. It's a little more close to the body. It doesn't protrude too high. I like this bar. I'm just gonna say that out loud. I like that bar, I'm glad I did it. Holds the two together. It gives me a nice mounting spot for the actuator. Dig it, dig it, dig it. While I was up there looking at the roof and taking measurements, I noticed that the one inch pieces resembled some box tube I have sitting on the ground. I realized how I was gonna mount this to the roof. I pulled out the one by three box tube that I got from the scrapyard and cut it to the length of the two by four. Then I traced the shape of the box tube on some thick art paper and started making the standoffs for the roof by shaping them to the contours of the roof and then using a short drop of inch and a quarter tube, I cut the shape of the base tube of the cradle. Then to give it a nice streamlined look, I cut a slope to make the standoff have a clean ramp shape. After tracing the shape to the box tube, I cut them with the bandsaw. I decided to use the clean natural bends of the box tube on the top so that it looked like the feet were custom shaped for this purpose. It fit perfect. 
With my test piece a complete success, I drew out the remaining standoffs and started cutting. What was a pleasant surprise, since they were so low profile, I could get two standoffs for every piece. Score. I did have to fine tune the pieces with a sander, but in all, the process was pretty simple. All right. There's the uh, pieces. I just need to make some uh, pads for them to sit on. I'll just on the plate. Not this plate, this is way too thick. But uh, and you got some thinner stuff down here. So let's do that. After some measuring, I decided a total span of 16 inches between the front and back mounts. A third will sit right in the middle about eight inches. I ended up making all six standoffs identical. It might have been a little foolish to weld everything up right away, but I lucked out and everything is fine. After everything was tacked and somewhat welded in place, the cradle came down for final welding. Then I started on the feet. I made a simple plate for the feet, about an inch or two over the sides of the standoffs. And drilled some holes. Then after marking each plate every half inch, I put them in the vise and used a rubber mallet to hit them, which curved them to match the curve of the bug's roof. The feet were then tacked in place. So I've been working on the mounts. Um, let's give you a little update here. Let's take a look. So I cut out these box tubes. Don't mind the slag. Anyway, I cut out these box tubes um, and then trimmed them up. You notice there's like a eighth inch gap. And the reason why, as you can probably see there, I'll just look at this one here, is I made little, little plates, uh, bent them uh, in the vise with a rubber mallet. Don't mind the crappy welds. I just tacked them into place. Um, then all I'll do is drill these out, put some nut certs in them or through bolt if I can get to them from the other side. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to make two more plates. The other side is in too. But yeah, so it looks like that's going to be a pretty good little mounting system. I'm going to have at least one, two, three, four, five, six, ten bolts per side. Um, it's gonna be pretty stout. If I gotta sandwich the roof and then connect it to the cage, I will. Um, not sure that's gonna be necessary, but it is a possibility, so it's all good. This is taking forever. Um, at least it'll be relatively unique um, as far as the mounting system. I don't know, it's looking pretty good to me, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Let's get back to the time lapse and finish this thing up. After making two more plates and tack welding them in, I pulled the cradle down once again and final welded everything. While it was down, I put the tabs on the crossbar for the actuator. Then I cleaned everything up with a sander. The plan is to fully enclose the standoffs, even from the bottom. So I cut out some small squares and welded the standoffs closed.
go. The final thing I wanted to do was trim up the leading corner and the trailing corner of the cradle. So I cut a simple 45 out of the back corners. Then set the structure on the bug to see where the best place to trim the front of the cradle would be. To make sure both sides were identical, I used the art paper again to go over the tube, then cut it in a 45 degree angle, and then slid it all the way up to the first mount, mark the angle, and cut the mount. Now with the front and back corners angled, I then drew and cut out the caps for the angles. And welded them in. Same thing with the back cutouts. After it all was welded up, I took the sanding pad to everything to smooth it over. All right, guys, don't mind the mess. Um, just finished grinding. I'm not finished, finished, but I finished grinding and the initial sanding of the joints. And uh, let's take a look. Just kind of tap that, cut a slice out of it. It's all nice and happy, and then uh, 45 that, I gotta figure out that. Figure, uh, no, no, off to the other side, another 45. Cap that, as you can see there's grain and grinding bits and pieces all over the place. Mounted the, uh, the center piece for actuator. Yeah, yeah. Looks pretty good so far. Looks pretty good. And that's it, that's the light bar. All right, well, you know, that's pretty much the finished product. It's not actually the finished product. I had to clean it up, add the little gussets and things of that nature, Get probably get powder coated as well. Um, I didn't expect this, but one of the things that I like a lot about it is it kind of looks like it's just floating there with the foot plates going back straight almost. You, you can't even see the mounts. You can't even, you know, so it just looks like it's hovering above the, uh, above the bug i should maybe throw in some led glow lights in there you know be all jdm yeah you know but anyway uh, <laughs> never know anyway that's the end of this video i'd like to thank you guys for watching all the way through the end go ahead and like and subscribe and leave a comment for me and i will see you guys on the next one i'm damien and this is the binder builder